actually watch those like um like those architectural digests or like the MTV like house like videos that have inspired me. Do you, you want to they inspire you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Andrea. I'm currently a junior here at Harvard studying psychology, and this is my home on campus. Today I'm giving a tour of my Mather Low Rise room. And the low rise at Mather is typically reserved for sophomores and juniors, where we have a common room space and then everyone gets their own single um, in our duplex setup. First up we have our corner. <laughs> I guess like is it just like, did I just say like, we have this corner? So this corner that you see when you first walk in is what I like to consider the snack aisle. We have most of our food here, along with some random miscellaneous supplies. We have a fridge here, and most fridges at Harvard, um, students either bring themselves or they rent through Harvard student agencies. What we did actually is that this is, this is bought from Union College, I think, actually, from a kind, kind person who decided to give away their self for, I mean, their fridge for free, but in giving away their fridge for free, we also don't have any shelves. So if you ever look inside, it's always just a game of Tetris to make sure everything can fit. Moving two feet over from our snack aisle, we now enter our game setup, I guess. And so we have this really large TV that we got on Facebook Marketplace. And what I will say is that um, with college living, you become really, really talented at just finding um, different pieces that just go together in your room, um, either from Facebook Marketplace, just something on the street, garage sales, etc. So this is our wonderful HEPA filter. Um, it's supposed to purify and cleanse our air, I guess. Um, every Harvard room has them, and so um, it just makes sure that the air that we're breathing is clean and continues to circulate, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, this is it. This is her. What's going on outside? Oh, yes. Yeah. So Mather, in all its glory, is also a little bit farther from the yard. But the good thing is, is that we actually have our own shuttle stop. And so the Mather Express and a bunch of other shuttles actually run right to our front door. Um, and so we actually live right above the entrance. And so we hear it leaving us behind. Um, but that's OK. So now transitioning to the other side of the room, um, we kind of just have our seating area. Mather actually provides this couch um, for three people and then these two individual chairs as well. This rug actually was free on Facebook Marketplace. And so if there's something out there that you want, it's probably out there on Facebook Marketplace, and that's a quick plug for that. But yeah, I mean, it's like a really nice place for us to all gather, and it's really nice, I guess, to have this really large space that is just designated for people to hang out um, and spend time together. So that's our common room, the Mather Low Rise. And again, what makes Low Rise special is that you have a duplex setup, and so upstairs we have this common room, and then we can go downstairs to where the bedrooms and also where the bathroom is. So we can uh, go ahead and follow me. So the thing about the Mather duplexes is that half of the suites go downstairs to the bedrooms and the other half go upstairs. Um, clearly I go downstairs, but I really just like having the separation between being um, in the common room with my friends and then also being in my own space downstairs. And so another thing about the duplexes is that all the singles are split into two pairs of pods. And so with the pod, you're sharing it with one other person. Um, and so you get this really nice counter space, um, a very large mirror. Um, some built-in shelving and then just closet behind you as well. And then um, the last thing here is, of course, my bedroom itself. And so like with that, we can go on in. So we are now in my bedroom space. And with this, um, Mather actually came with the bed itself, the desk, this built-in shelf, and also that standing lamp right there. You have to play a little bit of Tetris in order to make sure that the space is exactly how you want it. And so when I moved in, I spent a lot of time just trying to configure the room in a bunch of different ways. When I moved in, obviously, this entire space was blank, or all the walls were blank, and so it was very much of a blank canvas sort of thing. And um, I think it's really important that when you move to college and you have this space to yourself, you really take the time to curate it, um, to make it meaningful to who you are. And I think I kind of took it to a higher level, or a little bit more so than most people do. Um, but I think the way that I really try to approach my room and the walls at least was to think about like what sparks joy and like what do I want to look at when I wake up or when I come back to the space. The room that you come back to should be a place that you feel re-energized re and you feel comfortable and really happy to be here. And so that was kind of what I had in mind when I just kind of started tacking things onto the wall. And yeah, I mean, with this, I have two walls or just two corners of photos. A pretty defining part of my identity is like how much I love Chobani. Um, so Chobani is a Greek yogurt brand and they've actually also expanded to like, I don't know, like milk alternatives, um, drinks, things like that. They have a storefront in New York City and I was in New York this past summer and I, as soon as I saw these bottles, I like had this vision. I was like, I need to put flowers in there. So I made an active effort to essentially take these empty bottles home with me and then back to campus. Um, and my mom thought I was a little crazy to be like wasting empty or like, like just precious luggage space on empty bottles. Um, but I think it turned out for the better. I really like it. Um, yeah, I mean, I wake up every day and it's one of the first things I see. So yeah, I mean, it does spark joy. So I'm glad that they're here. 
Thank you so much everyone for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the snippet of what my room looks like, but if you have any other questions about residential life at Harvard, please reach out to us at the Harvard Undergraduate Admissions Council, which you can find a link for in the description down below. Um, we love hearing from you guys and we really love sharing about um, the residential life here at Harvard. And I think it's really part of what makes this place so special. And so with that, make sure to also like and subscribe. Yay! <laughs>